when I was uh, painting yesterday, I realized that I hadn't uh, <laughs> drilled out the holes for for the uh, the cleats uh, on the starboard side here before before I started painting, and they were of course filled with the uh, fairing compound. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they would have been quite hard to find uh, after paint. So I managed to get them in on the starboard side uh, there and and up here. Yeah, port side, not so much. <laughs> I forgot. I'm gonna have to. Uh, find those uh, mounting holes before before I put even more paint on. It's no big issue. The the one up here I can get to from the inside with a drill. But uh, the more aftward one here is it's inside a locker, and uh, I'm not sure if I can get in there with a with a drill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see. We, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's well. Maybe I can get to them from the inside, and if I can, then no problem at all. If I can't, I'll have to do some sanding. Uh, try to magically find the hidden. Uh, Actually, not so bad. Here it is. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see anything at all. It's dark in here. Up there. That's one. The other one is accessible from the inside of the uh, forward deck locker. Well, you learn as you go, I guess. <laughs> After a little bit of sanding, I uh, managed to find the four holes here. <laughs> yeah, pretty, uh, ah, that's all right. And uh, forward here, I, I've done a pretty good job at ferrying. I found this hole from the outside. Then I was sure there was a hole here, but yeah, nope, that wasn't so. So I managed to get in on the inside and find the other other holes. Uh, yeah, good job of fairing that I just uh, destroyed. <laughs> this is no issue. Uh, I'm gonna come back to this, but. Uh, I'll really have to try and remember doing this all the time uh, so that I don't need to do this again. I remembered before fairing, drilled everything out so, uh, so that I would know where the holes are supposed to be. And then of course the fairing compound fills that in and the idea was that once that was done I would, I would drill them again before paint. Clearly, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, you learn as you go, eh? And uh, that little patch I'll have to do won't matter much. <laughs> Before the next coat of uh, fairing, I'll uh, drill those holes out a, a little bit more and uh, uh, with a, uh, what's that called, a countersink uh, bit so that I can uh, find them easier. And uh, the whole, the holes here are made, well, there's a large hole, probably about 
20 millimeters or so in diameter maybe bigger uh, for all of these that have been filled in that has been filled in with uh, thickened epoxy and then these are very undersized holes for the uh, uh, bolts that are going through there for, for my cleats and uh, there's a big backing plate on the, on the inside as well and that's the same thing for for all holes going through any of the hull here uh, looks sort of sort of like this so you can sort of see there's a large uh, area drilled out and then a small hole going through it these will also be enlarged before I put any bolt through them here you can't see that anymore because uh, I've put a, a fiberglass backing plate on these but uh, from the top uh, I can still drill those holes out this is for a, uh, a clutch and and this is for uh, a cleat but first the big jobs the details are the most fun but if I get uh, caught up in details I'll never get this boat in the water and that's not fun for anyone So I've uh, previously washed, washed down these uh, joints on both sides and uh, today I sand it down here, uh, the end, and uh, I had to sand off old peel ply. Uh, peel ply is great uh, when you put it on and uh, then remove it uh, when you're done with the section and then continue on if you have to leave it for long long times long longer than anybody would wish i guess it becomes very brittle in particular in the sun so i find that in many places it's been sitting for so long that there's nothing left of the cloth uh, it just comes off in little pieces and then you have to sand it off. I think I got it all. I don't want to take the glass, so I think I got it all. But uh, and I guess if there's a little dot of uh, peel plies here and there, it'll become a permanent part of uh, the filler. <laughs> it'll work. Yeah, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, sanded this down and uh, now I'll have to clean it off I'll uh, get rid of all the dust here uh, first with a rag and then uh, come back with some uh, uh, acetone to clean off uh, any oils though there shouldn't be any The uh, battery keeps running out uh, before fairing compound or paint, so uh, <laughs> uh, I got uh, the whole uh, lower seam uh, on the hull fared, or, or I, I put fairing compound on on both sides, and then I have been thinking a little bit about what to do next and. Uh, yeah, I think I need a day off, so uh, to be able to do that and not feel too bad about it, uh, 
I'll just crack on with more farring compound. <laughs> I think I might be able to get away with not adding farring compound to these uh, lower hull chamfer panels. They are very flat. The that's a satisfying uh, noise, also quite loud. But uh, the panel itself and the butt joints are very nice. Now you see there's there's new fairing compound that I put on here because there was a hole there. But uh, this joint, uh, and there's a bunch of them along the hull, is very nice and doesn't need a lot of fairing. I think the paint the primer will take care of uh, that. Well, it'll cover it and you'll see the, the joint. But when I come back and uh, sand down the primer, I think that will be gone. If not completely, then almost completely. I don't think, or I know I won't have that sort of luck with, uh, with this uh, hull joint. So my plan is to add fairing compound uh, to uh, both edges of this joint along uh, both of the hulls. And while I'm working here on my on my knees uh, and these fancy knee pads, uh, I figure. I might as well get the uh, bridge deck stiffeners as, as well. Uh, and try and do the same there. Not sure how my predecessor did this. It's a very nice uh, joint. Um, most of his work has been very good. Well, it's all very good just not always what I would have chosen but it's all very good work so uh, yeah you can see here he has fared uh, but only the joint and then there's paint uh, so I think I can get away with the same uh, I'll try I mean if I can get away with it then that's brilliant. If not, I'll have to come back and add fairing compound. But I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd much rather not. So, that is the plan. Continue with this type of fairing and uh, leave, uh, leave the rest. And hopefully that's enough. This is the underside of the boat as well. Uh, it'll show uh, sometimes but most of the time you won't have people sitting on their knees uh, inspecting the uh, inspecting the hut. so I think I'll get away with it and I think it'll turn out nice actually so so no issue but some satisfying removal of peel ply and here you can see what we, Roxana and I did earlier. All of this reinforcing uh, unidirectional glass overlapping. And uh, yeah, each one of these stiffeners is just a, a PVC pipe uh, that's uh, glued onto the hull. And then uh, glassed in place with all of this uh, unidirectional glass in the bottom. This <laughs> makes for a very, very stiff beam.
that's it. I can't handle any more ferrying compounds today. <laughs> and not tomorrow either. My plan is to take the day off tomorrow and rest my fingers and shoulders and back. Because uh, I'm sure this looks real easy on uh, in a time lapse, but <laughs> I can assure you it is not. And uh, waiting a day means that I can do so much more glorious, glorious sanding. So that's what's coming up. Thank you.